far and further here and this is going to be another episode on 10,000 kilometers on Yamaha Tenera 700. In this episode I'm going to talk about the Altex tubeless kit. I got so many questions about it. So what it is, Altex tubeless kit is a Japanese very affordable way how to convert your tube wheels, tube rims, into a tubeless. It's about 65 quid or 65 euros per wheel and you can install it at home. Um, that's what the kit is. I found it about three years ago and I used it on my trip uh, on Honda CB500X and in those 54,000 kilometers and, and 14 months I didn't have any issue with it at all. So that's the credentials for the kit. Why do I run two bless uh, on my motorcycles? The thing is it is so much easier to repair a tubeless tire than to fuff with the tubes. With the tubeless, you have these mushroom plugs, uh, which everybody probably knows, but the same thing is for the cars. Uh, it works exactly the same way for the motorcycle tire. You have just these two things to put the mushroom inside a tire, plug it, and it's done. Uh, in 10 minutes, off you go. Uh, I had five punctures in the rear on Honda and about three in the front. I already had one puncture on the, on the front here um, and there is a small tiny puncture in the rear. Uh, with the tubes you obviously have to have uh, spare tubes. Uh, this is improbably adventuring uh, kit. You have to have tire levers and you have to have something to take the wheel off, some kind of a stand that hair stand and a pump. I am not running the tubes only because it's easier to fix of course or because I would save um, weight in terms of tools. I'm gonna talk about that later that's not true uh, but with the tubes the prob there's a lot of problems like once you have a, a puncture in the tube you have to patch it and then those patches and the glue they come off quite easily so while you're riding it is very temporary solution. Also if you're riding in a high temperature environment those patches go off very very quickly and then you have all those problems with pinching the tubes when you're putting it on then there are these uh, very scary blowouts on the front tires I'm not sure how often they happen but when that happens that leads pretty much to the end of the trip so there's a lot of things which can go wrong with the tube that being said, of course the tubeless has its own problems. The main problem is that if you have a big puncture, which you cannot plug with the mushroom, or if you cut the sidewall or tear off the knob, you know, that tire is done and you cannot repair it. So the only way how to continue is to put the spare tube into it. I don't know about other tubeless conversions, but at least with the Altex, it is possible to take a tube uh, stuff it in the tire. In order to do that I obviously need to have a tube and I obviously need to have the same set of tools. In a sense it only saves me uh, the patches. In probably adventuring is having both tubes. I have only one so I can actually put it in the rear and the front just for the emergency stuff. I have to mention very important issue and that has something to do with the rims which are nowadays used on the motorcycles. There are two types of rims. There is a WT rim, which most of the bikes have in the front. It's called like a normal rim. It's not tubeless ready rim, somebody call it. And then you have empty rim, which is called safety rim uh, or tubeless ready rim. And that most of the motorcycles have in the back. Why is this important? The empty rim, tubeless safety rim, has the same profile as a car rim. So you have the uh, outer lips, then you have uh, a safety hump, which keeps the tire uh, popping of the beat. That's the safety feature there. WT rim in the front, the normal rim, the same profile, but it doesn't have those safety humps, which means that the tire could potentially, in some occasions, pop off the beat. You can convert WT rim and MT rim to tubeless um, there's no issue with it but the front tires because they are WT rims non-safety rims 
a lot of people will be scared to do that because they may be illegal issues. I have never bent the rim. I have never popped the tire of the beat. And very simple mitigation to that problem. You just have to keep certain pressure, certain minimal pressure in the front tire. And don't do crazy motocross if you have a 200 uh, kilo bike. If you want more information about the rims and type of the rims, Altex has a really good article about it. And also Fortnite has a video about putting a car tire on the rear of the motorcycle and he talks about the safety features of the empty rims. Okay, how does the tubeless conversions work? All of them seal the nipples from inside of the rim. Altex achieves this by um, in a kit, when you buy it, uh, there is a green tape, which is really soft, gooey, jelly, very sticky thing, which you apply onto the whole length of the rim from the inside, and that seals the spokes, that keeps the air inside. And then in a the kit, there's also a white tape, uh, which is just a protective film, uh, which you stick on that and that's done. That's all what you need to do. Then you inflate the tire and happy days. Outex, they have really, really, really good uh, application videos, installation videos on the YouTube. So definitely recommending. Are there any limitations of tubeless or the Outex kit itself? Now, important is to remember that we still have the WT rim in the front, which is not the safety rim. Um, so there is a potential that the tire will pop off the bead. Outex will tell you, keep the tire pressure up to minimum tire pressure to about 19, 18 PSI or one bar, and that will prevent that from happening. Another thing to mention is because we have now a sticky tape inside the rim, when I change the tire, I will have to be very careful not to damage that with the tire levers. Uh, Outex gives you a little bit more tape, so you just cut that off, that piece which you damage off and stick the new uh, fresh tape on and it will last forever as well. So one more disadvantage of the tubeless, any tubeless is, because there is no tube inside and tire needs to sit on the bead, we have to get it there somehow. And the only way how you can seat the tubeless tire properly on the bead is either high pressure compressor or, well, uh, brake cleaner and a lighter. The tubeless conversion, the Altex kit I had on Honda, on Yamaha, it never leaked on me. Uh, it would have to leak through the spokes and that would only happen if I damaged the um, sticky tape. The leaks I have are because of the tires when they get to the end of the life, they start leaking um, on the uh, bead. The easy mitigation is just to check the pressure every day and reinflate because the leaks is really slow. That's the reason why I'm never leaving without the compressor and I'm never leaving without my patch kit. I have a tire pressure monitoring system. That's a new addition. I didn't have it before. Uh, Scotty Austria, thank you very much for that. And this is really amazing piece of kit because it tells me every time and all the time what the tire pressure is in my uh, tires. And especially with the WT rim in the front, that is really important. It has two little sensors and this little box goes on the handlebar. And the amazing feature is that you can set the threshold to 19 PSI, which is the minimum pressure on the front. And when that drops under that, it starts screaming and blinking red. And that's exactly what you need with the WT rim. So, definitely recommend spending 40 30 euros on that i hope i answered all the questions if you have more uh, instagram or youtube and um, see you with the next uh, episodes